What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Blooming Forms and some of the capabilities that it can do. So we're going to jump right into the video. This is what we're going to be building. The cool thing about this form is I have most of it filled out. But the cool thing about it is that once you finish uh, going through your checklist, this button here or this, this section here is going to highlight green, meaning that you're, you're good to go. Your inspection is good. So you can proceed to the next step. So as you can see, I finished uh, checking the boxes this thing automatically turn green. And then the other thing is uh, if I want to uh, reset this form, I can just come up here, hit hit the reset button, and then, and then we'll be good to go for the next form, for the next checklist. The other thing that I did here is I hyperlinked it to the concrete specs. In case there are any questions out in the field, then we can click on the hyperlink and it'll take us immediately to the concrete section. So we're gonna jump right into the demo. I'm gonna go to this one. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it takes uh, quite a little bit of time to build the entire uh, checklist, but I'm just going to go through a few examples and then you'll probably get the point. Everything's pretty much uh, repeating the same process. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to do the inspection date. So I'm going to go here to my forms tab. I'm going to do a text box, drag the box, and then I'm going to go back to it, move it up here since so it's the first one. This is gonna be called inspection date. Then I'm gonna go down here on the right. I'm gonna say it's a category. Instead of none, I'm gonna say date and I want it to be month, day, and year. Uh, so whenever someone types in the date, it has to be in the in this certain format for this to work. Then the next one is gonna be another text box. I'm just gonna drag. And I'm not going to give it a category. I'm just going to leave it as none. So we're going to keep going down. The other different one is the poor location. This is going to be a drop down. So on the project, we have a few buildings already in place. Uh, so I know it's going to be either, either one of those buildings. The concrete pour is going to be one of those buildings. So I'm going to go here on the right and I'm going to start typing in my building. So uh, we have a building that's called the watering building, click add. The next one is uh, membrane building. I'm going to click add and then let's do one more. Let's call it BNR building and I'm going to click add. And then I'm just going to create one, just hit space just so I can create a blank one. And then I'm going to move this one up here, which will be the default one. Then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to the left and then make sure I name my poor location. So this is gonna be buildings. And then I'm gonna move this one up here right under schedule poor time. So that's that for this section up here. For this section down here, all the check boxes, all the steps are pretty much the same. I'm just gonna do two and you guys are probably gonna get the point. Uh, it takes a, bit, a little bit of time to set up the JavaScript in the back make sure that everything is working. And then again, let's go up here to the left where it says checkbox. I'm gonna drag a box around here. This is gonna be called subgrade elevation verify, copy, control paste. And then I'm gonna go down here to the add action and I'm gonna add the JavaScript in the back. So whenever I have all my boxes checked, then the button on the bottom is going to turn green. Right now is red because we haven't filled out the entire form. Uh, so once I do that, the button will turn green. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab my JavaScript that I already uh, created. Paste this, click OK. Then I'm going to add another one on blur, add action. And it's pretty much the same JavaScript. Paste, OK. And then I'm gonna do the same as the exact same uh, step for the next one. So go up here to the checkbox, create a box, go back to my cheat sheet. This is gonna be called separate compaction verified, control paste. I'm gonna move it up here right below the separate elevation verified. And then I'm gonna go again down here, add action. I'm gonna add the JavaScript, grab this, JavaScript that I already created over here, paste it, click OK, OK, then another one on Blur, add action, form, edit, paste the JavaScript, click OK. 
So it's pretty much the same step for all the remaining ones. That's why I didn't um, create them. I just left them as is. I just wanted to show you guys uh, the first two. Then the next thing that I wanted to show you guys is the reset button. Uh, so I'm gonna click on the reset button. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna add another JavaScript to that form, which is gonna be the reset button. So I already have all my JavaScript here. Go up here, control paste, click okay, click okay again. And then the reset button um, is created. So now we're ready to start filling out the form. So hopefully it's gonna work the way I intended it to, so. So once I finish checking all the boxes, I guess, let me go back, see, if I don't finish checking the boxes, uh, this is red, but once I do finish checking the boxes, this is gonna turn green. And if I'm out in the field and I go through my company pre-port checklist, make sure that everything is good, then the project superintendent can sign down here on the bottom with the, with the iPad or and the owner's rep can sign here on the bottom as well. So this is pretty much it. I wanted to make a quick video on forms. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Make sure you follow me on all my social media and make sure you go to support my YouTube page. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.